This is a CBS News Detroit update. Good morning, I'm Meredith Bruckner. Here's a look at your top headlines on December 27th. For the second time in as many months, we're learning about a data breach involving a vendor for Corwell Health. That's the company that also includes Priority Health and Beaumont Health. The breach involves 1 million Michigan residents. Compro compromised information includes names, addresses, social security numbers, and medical records. The company will provide 12 months of credit monitoring services for its customers. The Detroit Pistons are in the history books, and not for the best reason. The team lost its 27th consecutive game last night, setting a new NBA record for most losses in a row in a single season. The last time the team won a game was October 28th. Their next game is tomorrow night in Boston against the Celtics. In Garden City, an investigation is underway after a police officer shot and killed a man. It started with a crash Tuesday morning near the intersection of Four Road and Vinoy. Police say a driver crashed into another car. He then got out and shot a bystander in the head as he was walking over to help. The gunman also shot at other cars in the area, and when officers arrived, they shot and killed that man. Now the witness who was shot and the driver of the other car involved in the crash were both taken to the hospital for their injuries and are recovering. New research has identified 15 risk factors for young onset dementia that challenge the notion that it's only caused by genetics. A study released this week by JAMA Neurology found that some of the more surprising risk factors are social isolation, hearing loss, and low vitamin D levels. A person's socioeconomic status and ability to obtain higher education also seem to be factors. In consumer news, more retailers are charging fees on returns. According to company Happy Returns, 81% of merchants are now charging for at least some method of returns. Stores like Amazon and Macy's have already begun the practice. Last year, customers sent back nearly 17% of the total merchandise purchased. That's 8% increase from the year before. And let's check in on next weather forecast with Kylie Miller. Kylie? Good morning, Meredith. Good morning, everyone. Today, our temperature is going to be mild once again. We're starting off in the low 40s this morning. Areas the fog, so if you're going to be traveling anywhere, make sure to watch out for that. Use those low beam headlights. That's going to help you see a little bit further in front of you. High temperatures this afternoon will continue to climb into the upper 40s to near 50 degrees. I think for the city, we are going to be maxing out right at 50 this afternoon. The winds today a little bit breezy out of the northwest. It's changed at 10 to 15 miles per hour, but we're not completely done with the rainfall yet. This morning still battling a few sprinkles, light rain showers. We will have some drier conditions as we go through the afternoon as the system continues to pinwheel out of here. However, we're going to see more wraparound moisture going through tonight as well as tomorrow. Tomorrow morning at this time we are going to be waking up with some scattered rain showers and those rain showers will continue throughout tomorrow afternoon as well. Friday, smaller rain shower chances, about a 20 to a 30% chance of rain showers just depending on your location. I think we're going to see a little bit more rain, especially across our northern zones. So breaking down your next other seven day outlook temperatures for today in the 50s and then we're going to be back into the 40s starting tomorrow. Those 40s are going to extend all the way through our Saturday. Then 30s are expected for Sunday and Monday. 40 degrees on Tuesday with more sunshine. The good news is for any of your New Year's Eve plans or New Year's Day plans, we have dry conditions and temperatures are going to be a little bit more seasonable with highs in the 30s. Thank you, Kylie. And that's a look at your headlines. We'll be back later covering stories that matter to you on air and streaming on the CBS News app and Pluto TV.